Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and this video is long overdue, but today we got a break in the weather, and I finally got around to making this video of a new product I wanted to introduce here on the channel. The good people at Chameleon Antennas were kind enough to provide me some equipment last fall so I can have ham radio in my travel trailer. I made a video going over Chameleon Antennas, Cha Portamast, and I'll put a link down below. And then I made a video about their new F-Loop antenna. Well, this video is about their remote tuner for their F-Loop product line. If you've worked with loop antennas before, you know that you have to tune the antenna traditionally at the antenna itself. And if you have any separation between your radio and your antenna, that can be a bit challenging. Well, not a challenge anymore, because Chameleon Antennas has now came up with a new accessory for their F-Loops, a micro servo or stepper motor remote tuner. It's hardwired to a controller. The power for the stepper motors on the head is provided by the nine volt battery in the tuner controller here. You set your radio for the channel you want, maybe a couple KC off. Peak the tuner for max noise, put a little RF down the line, and then fine tune. So you'll see there's four buttons on the face. Fine tune down, coarse down, coarse up, fine tune up. So as you're listening to a station, you can actually hear the difference as I step off of the tuning solution. And you can see how the audio is getting louder now, weaker. And then if I had RF power, I could fine tune the SWR with this remote here. And that means I don't have to get up at the antenna because another challenge that sometimes happens with loop antennas is you get a perfect tuning solution right next to the antenna and then when you step away it changes a little bit. So now you can have your antenna in a fixed position and tune at your actual station over the remote cable here. Now this kit comes with the controller head here, of course the cable, a pack of stickers, and then the actual motor housing itself that connects to where the traditional tuning knob would be. You take a few screws off, everything comes in the kit. It's four screws to attach the remote tuner to the antenna capacitor there at the base of the antenna. It's a simple DC plug there. I put a little loop around the, the clip there in case somebody trips over the wire and I just run it down the mast here and bring it over to the remote. And I set that right next to the station. So as I'm moving around the bands, I can now tune from my local position and not have to go out to the antenna or near the antenna. Now once the weather gets a little bit better and I can get out in the field with my camper, we'll have all this set up. I'll have more videos coming about the tuner itself, the Cha Porta mast, and I'll put links down below to the previous videos on the mast and a link down below to the video on the F-Loop antenna. And as always, Thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a short video from the mountains of West Virginia. Take care, everybody.